All right, welcome everyone. In this video, we'll look at how we can use our Casio classpad to carry out a regression. So what I've got here is a bit of data as list one, list two, and I've also drawn up my scatter plot. So without renaming our variables, keeping it as list one, list two, if I want to do a linear regression on this, what I'm gonna do is go up to calc, go regression, and then linear regression. My X list is my X1, oh sorry, my list one, my Y list is my list two, happy with that. If I want the formula to copy into my graph, um, I can choose Y1, or Y2, or whatever I want. I don't want that, but what I do want is my residuals. So that residual, if I choose list three, that's gonna work out all the residuals, all the individual residuals, and that will convert into list three. So as I press okay on that, we get a readout. So my equation, so y equals, I'm just gonna swap that around to a plus bx. So a plus bx, so a is 13.4ish, b is negative 0.57, and I've got my r and my r squared value. So that's how I can do my linear regression. What we're gonna do now is transform this data using a couple of different transformations. So we're gonna get out of this, okay, okay, and we'll draw down the line in as well. I'm gonna jump across the list number four, and I want to use this to do a logarithm transformation on my list one. So down below here in that calc button, so I'm going to go log of list one. As I press enter on that, it gives me all that. If I want to get that as decimal, just down below, we're just going to change that to decimal and then pressing enter again. So we've worked out the log of all of our list one values. I'm going to jump across and now do reciprocal of this one. So 1 over my list 1. Again, pressing enter. So that's just a couple of different x transformations. Now again, I can carry out my linear regression on these by going up to calc, regression again, and then linear regression. So this time, I want to go down to list 3. Oh, sorry, sorry, not list 3. List four, that was my first transformed variable. Keeping my Y variable as list two, that doesn't change. I don't need my residuals this time. So as I press okay on that, that gives me my values for my transformed equation. So my slope is 17.4-ish, and my slope, oh sorry, my intercept 17.4, and my slope is negative 11.1. And again, I've got my R and my R squared. Again, I can change that to do my other one, just by going again to calc, regression, linear regression, and changing that last one to list five. So that's how we can do a regression and a transformation, just using our lists and then our little calc menu. All right, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you all next time.